Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you one of the best methods to encrypt your files and folders on a Mac and how to access them once you've done it. Let's jump into it. The first thing you want to do is head on down to your finder and then go to your applications and at the bottom of your applications you may have to scroll down for this you have utilities and then you've got disk utility. So double click disk utility. You'll see this appear at the bottom here. Once you've got that open, you may go up to the top left hand corner and go to File, New Image, click Blank Image, and give your image a name. So I'm going to call my YouTube files. You can also tell it where you want to save it as well. See, I'm going to put mine in all documents. You can also give you your, what's called the volume and name as well. So I'm going to call it YouTube files. We want to change it to OS extended journal, case sensitive. Encryption, we definitely want to turn this on. A 256 is the best you can get. So click on that. This will be the password you use to access the files. He wants us to create a password. If you're not sure how to create a secure password, check out my previous video. I'll link that in the description below. But I'm going to put in a password for this one. And then click choose. Let's make it say 10 gig. Depends on the size of your files you've got. And then we click save. And you can see it's creating the disk image. Let's give it a second. I'll fast forward through this section to save you some time. Okay, now that's finished, we just click done. As you can see, we've got a brand new volume over here that's already mounted called YouTube files. We can then left click on that. We've got plenty of space in here as well. So the way this works is we can close down the disk utility now. And we can click up here where it says locations, YouTube. As you can see, there's nothing in it. So you can drag whatever files you want into this. So it's got a downloads. I downloaded some pictures previously just to give you an idea. So say you want to keep this particular picture, you can drag it and drop it straight onto your encrypted file. Same with this one as well. Let's do a few more. If you left click on it, there's all your files. You've also got a quick access over here on the right hand side where you can open it. So once you've done with all your files for the day, make sure you reject it. The way to access it is if you click on Finder, go to Documents, because that's where we stored it. Double click on it. It'll ask you for the password that we created earlier. Okay, put our password in. And click OK or press Enter. Now you've done it correctly because it reappears down here as a location. And there we go. You can also delete files out of here as well. So say if we don't want this one. Just to well, you can either right click it. Move to bin. Or you can left click it and press delete on the keyboard. You can also drag folders directly into this as well. So, you, so I've got this folder here called keep this. We can literally drag this straight in. There we go. Put this up the side. Okay, and once we're done with all our files, we can inject it like I showed you earlier. 
I hope you found this useful and I'll catch you in the next one.